Greetings everyone, welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're back in the apartment. This is going to be a tutorial video on updating code on the Stern Spike 2 system. I've done a JJP uh, update in my Hobbit, and I did a tutorial on that, and I found a lot of, uh, a lot of people found it valuable, and they said, uh, this is a great video. So I thought, you know what, it's going to be the first time I'm doing it on a new game. And why don't we do it together? So I'm going to set you up right now, and I'm going to show you what equipment you need and where you have to go to download the files and update the code. So we're at the computer now, and here are the steps on how to update the code. The first thing you're going to need is grab yourself a 16 gig USB card. Now apparently from 8 to 16 gig is necessary. Anything under and over the Stern Spike 2 system may not recognize it. So 8 to 16 gig is more than enough. What I'm doing now is I'm literally plugging it into the computer. So it's going to now pull up the uh, removable drive. There's my USB-E. And I'm going to open that. Now I've uh, deliberately emptied it so there's nothing there which I recommend. Have nothing in there. Another thing you want to check to see if is it's been formatted into FAT32. So if you go up, if you go down here, and this is on Windows 10 by the way, and you click properties, you'll see that it's already been formatted to FAT32 right there. Now for Mac users, it might be a bit different because you have to uh, format it to that. Now I'm not a Mac user, but if you are, I'm going to leave in the description below and if you want to read more about it, and if you have to um, change the the USB uh, format to the FAT32. Here's a really good online tutorial which I've had uh, in the description now that you can see both for Windows 10 and also for Mac. So for Mac users, check this out if you need help. Next, what we're going to do is go on Stern's website. There's a few ways to do it uh, to find the, the latest code. So the first way is you can go these little three lines here. And the way I usually do it is games And I'll explain why. You go down and find your game. We're going to be doing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles LE. And then everything turtles. And then you go to limited. This mine's a limited edition. And we're going to scroll down all the way. I kind of like going through here to see what's new. And then you're going to go to game code. And here's the game code strictly for turtles. There is another way to do it if you wanted. Where you do click that and you go support. And you go game code. This is another way. And then it shows every game that's been updated. I kind of like going here sometimes too to remind friends and uh, people that I know to have, like that have other games to update. So these are the latest code updates. And eventually when you scroll down, you'll see the turtles that was updated as well, uh, which is right here. But like I said, it's the kind of, it's the same thing. Um, so we'll, we'll do it this way. Actually, you know what? I kind of like doing it this way. I'm weird like that. I guess because I want turtles to be in the context. And there's kind of no way to really screw it up. But we're going to do it. I like doing it this way to the game that I personally have. So game code. So I'm here. Now again, like I said, um, there's three different versions. There's the Pro, the Premium, and the LE. The Premium and LE are identically the same. I guess they just do it so there's no confusion. Uh, today we're going to be doing this right here. We're going to be downloading this. Before I do so, if you guys are curious what this is, game code read file, if you look at it, pretty much just gives you a detail of what's being changed. And I like seeing, I like seeing the differences. So this is version 1.51, mine is the older 1.41, but it shows what was fixed and whatnot. So if you want to read that, you can download the file and uh, see if everything is, um, has been updated. So that's if you want to see what it is that you know what the changes are so i'm going to go back here all right game code and let's do it so we're going to download this the teenage Mutant ninja turtles le 1.51 game code we're going to download the file yes i agree okay and we're going to be back so i'll be back. so now that the file's been downloaded it actually ends up being a zipped file so you're going to have to unzip it for it to work or else it just won't work in the game. So what we'll do is, again, I'm on a Windows system. Um, if you just Google WinRare, I'm going to have this in the description for you so it's easy. 
Uh, I've uninstalled it deliberately so I can show you steps if you're not aware how to do this. So this is unzipping programs. Uh, I'm going to be getting the trial version because I don't use it that much so I don't find I have to really buy it. But so you click on that and then again you just download WinRare. You can buy it. It gives you more stuff. I don't want to do that at the moment. Download that. Gives you all this stuff. So it's downloading in the corner here. We're going to wait for that. Oh, it's been done. Uh, so then we can open what we've just done here. And now we're going to install it on the computer. Yada, yada. Okay, sure. Okay, whatever. Thank you. Perfect. So now let's unzip the Turtles code that we just downloaded. So now that the file has been downloaded, this is what it looks like when the RimRare uh, software, because it, that's the file it's going to be open with. In the program, you see the little books. Uh, so quite simply, what you do is you're going to right click and you're going to do, you can do extract here and extract that to make it easy. See where it says extract to turtles underscore uh, le yada yada. You're just going to right click and then left click that and let it do its thing. So what it's doing is you see this folder on the left here, it's creating uh, its folder extract in the files. And then once that's done, what we'll do is while it's doing its thing, here's the my uh, thumb drive. You can see it here, uh, USB E. Uh, let's, what did it do? Is it finished? Yep. So it's finished. So you see these files, move this side. See this folder here, open that, double click. And you see these two files here, copy them. We're going to right click, both are uh, highlighted, we're going to go copy, and then we're going to go to our US, uh, USB, so here it is E, you're going to right click, and you're going to paste. So it's going to uh, paste that file, it's going to take you a few minutes, so we're, I'm going to come back when it finishes. And then, So the files have been um, successfully pasted over, so you can see here. Uh, so we can just X out of that. All right. And then now we have to safely remove it. So we're going to just go here, right click. This is the thumb drive and it says eject. Okay. So that's safely removed. See you right there. Beautiful. Now, next, let me set you up and we'll show removing the back glass and where to insert the USB for... So I've just turned on the game and I want to show you what code it's at before we um, install the new one. So what you're going to do is take the keys to the back glass, which is usually in the coin door. Okay. And normally we'll see in the top right corner what version the code is at currently. And it's going to be in the same spot when we end up adding and uh, updating the code. So as you can see now, it's just loading. This is again before me putting in the USB and updating the code. So I just want to show you, there it is. Version 1.41 is where it is now. So what I'm going to do, just to, again, that was just to show you where it is. I'm going to turn this off, okay? And we're going to just take the glass off. Now, again, if you're not aware what all this stuff is, don't worry. Again, <clears throat> excuse me, I've archived, I've archived in my videos uh, before. I'm gonna go just put this down. I've archived in my video before, if you wanna check my mods, what those are about. And we're gonna take the USB right now. So here's the one uh, that we uh, downloaded with the code on it. So do you see these? Bring it forward. You see here? Let me see if I can put this up. Okay. Uh, we're going to just put it in the one to the left. Apparently, that's what everybody else has been doing. And uh, we're going to do the same. Try to do the same. There we go. Uh, so it's been put in there. Okay. So what I will do now is do it live. So I'm going to just put this back up. Let's just lock it there just in case. And we're turning on the power. This is the first time I've done this. So we're doing this together. Uh, and I don't know what to expect. So here we go. You can see there's stuff going on in the PCB on the board here. Oh, game code update starting up. 
Good. Okay, good. So Turtles LE version 5.15, which is good. Press that to choose. Now, if you're not aware, let me just slide you back. And I'm going to show you what it's saying. So press plus to choose update. Select. So you're going to go in here. Okay. And you see where it says uh, less or plus. You're going to press plus. And then uh, you're going to press. So it's already there. You're going to press the black button. There we go. And it's going to say update quick. Uh, again, we're going to press select or the black button. And now it's doing its thing. Oh, wow, that's quick. Shit, that's quick. Is that it? No way. No, it has to be more than that. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. I think, yeah, because there's two different files, right? What? Is that right? Game code update resuming. Oh, okay, maybe there's two parts to it. Yeah, because there's no way, uh, here we go, Friend, unpack files, good, this is good, yeah, because it should take a little while, because what, what did it say, it's around 2 gigs, right, I just want to wait until it moves the uh, status bar, and then we'll come back, there we go, so it's going to take a bit, I'll be back right before it goes to 100%, and uh, see if all goes well. Okay, so it's just about done. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Come on, give me a good indicator. Let's do it. It took around six minutes uh, from when I cut to now, give or take, if you're curious. It took around six or seven minutes. Maybe, over, yeah, six, seven minutes. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, success, whoo. Good, what's the next step? Success, update complete, remove USB memory stick and power cycle gain. Beautiful, so I am going to remove USB memory stick here. I actually want to, no, we're going to do what it says. Unplug. Unplugged. Power cycle means you turn it off. I usually wait 30 seconds and then turn it back on. Okay, so that's been turned off. I'm going to put this aside in case something goes astray. Um... Now, I have the coin door open. I'm sure I should, uh, I'll be able to just, uh, so I'm gonna close the coin door. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> let's turn it on again. It's been around 30 seconds, right? It doesn't really matter, but. Let's turn it back on and see what it says. Apparently, it, there'd be node board updates or something like that it's gonna say, but either way, let's see what it says. Apply update, good. Good, good. Where's that coffee? Here we go. Update. Rebooting. So again, it should say on the top right 1.51 if it was done correctly. Terminals. Good. Now, the one thing I'm not sure of is will it erase my high scores and settings? Huh, I never thought about that. Because the JJP one, there's two versions. There's a, like, pretty much a brand new code update which wipes everything with all your scores, and there's another version that keeps it. But again, I do that in my video if you're curious. So I'm curious if it does the same here. Huh. We're learning together. Yeah, hey, there it is. 1.51. Startup in progress. Process, yeah, yeah. Free play, so I guess... Is it, does it come default free play or is it coin up? Mm -hmm. Updating node board. So this is normal 
I've heard about this. I've heard about that. Okay. Again, this is update successful. Good. I like seeing that. Good. Start up in progress. Guided steps. Good. Oh, look at that. Stern requires stern. I don't have the stern insider kit. Oh, cool. It even shows the date and everything. Uh, oh, I, so I do have to go into the menu. So I'm opening the coin. No, no, no. No, what am I doing? So you're going to use the flippers. You see all this? I'm going using the right flipper to go down. Huh. Well, I might as well put Canada. I never saw this before. Free play. Oh, shit. Did it reset? Game print. Doesn't matter. John free play. Game volume. Who cares? That's uh, today's the 14th. Save and exit. So, if you're wondering why Turtle does this, now I have the alley version, so in because the, the premium is the same, so it's loading the balls for the multi ball. So let's see if it Can saved the scores. Me out. It did, yeah. So that yeah, my scores are still there. The turtles are at it again, saving the city from yeah. another villain. Good news. Okay, I'm gonna put the back glass on. We're gonna start a game and see if everything has gone through correctly. Two. So I'm just about to press start with the new code. And let's see if again I'll just play a ball to make sure everything is functioning and we'll go from there. Choose your turtle. Okay. Raphael. Leonardo. Leonardo. I usually don't play that good in tournament. So everything seems to be working. The mech seems to be, I'm gonna drain deliberately. Yeah, so everything seems to be up and running and working great. Perfect, okay. Let me set you up and say my final goodbyes. Well, there you have it. That was the tutorial on updating a Stern Spike 2 system and getting that code up and new. 1.51 is now updated. I have not noticed the changes yet. I only played a few games. I'm gonna read the breakdown of what it's updated, so maybe I can reassure myself that it's you know working the way that it should. That's another one off the list of this, uh, of updating the game, which is nice. Let me know in the comments below if it's helped. That'd be great. Uh, give it a thumb up, would be nice. Ring the bell for any future videos and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been a pleasure and thanks for checking out Top Tier. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.